think the sharpshooter is the most fun. I think so. Oh, it kind of gives you a preview of what their skills are. I think this is new. I think it's new. I think they changed the faces a little bit. They were kind of fugly. They're still a little too strong. Is the hair new? The center part? Hmm? You got Shadowlands Alpha? Did you? How come I... Whoa. Shit. It's like Hearthstone, man. How come I can't rotate my character, bro? You like this one, number two? I think the hairstyle we're gonna go with is... Four? Or two? She's got iron sights in her hair? That's funny. <laughs> if only I could rotate, dude. A three's a no-go. Two's a good face. One, yeah, let's go with two. Mm -hmm. I like that her eyes are still blue. That's kind of cool. I don't know what her hair looks like. It drives me crazy. Oh, wait, I think I saw a ponytail back there. I think I saw it. I think I'm gonna go with red. Or blue. Mm. I think we'll go with red. I know, I'm like, I'm using the middle mouse button. I'm trying to drag right mouse button. Right and left at the same time. Arrow keys. WSAD. I don't know. Alright, well. So, this is the safer hair option since we can't spin. Yeah, they added the feature to fire cannons but not spin your character. The blue eyes make her look a little cool. We can go blue on blue. That purple dude? We go full, full blurple here? These are actually all different colors, they just didn't change the preview. Way better than iron sights. I'm kind of feeling this darker combo, but maybe it's too boring. I'm gonna go here. They thought her name could be Dax. Ozma. Gwendolyn. Morgan. Okay. We'll just call her Bloodshed. Because that's what she's going to cause on the battlefield. Alright. Let's go. Oh, you pick your relic. Okay. Um... They- this is one thing that they changed. I think you can eventually unlock them all. This is one thing that they changed. Relic subclasses. So... We can get a little preview, I think, down here. Poison based, summon spiders. This is what I used my first time I played this class. I really liked it a lot. Blood Drinker. Heal your own wounds while enemies bleed. HP regen. Bleeding over time, physical based. This makes me not want to use it because it has sword synergy. And then Cold Heart, Ice Base, Crowd Control, Extreme Defense, and Rifle and Pistol Synergy. Where's the Rifle Pistol Synergy at? 
Cold gets an easier when a gun punches a bigger hole. Basic attacks increase relics energy regeneration, but a rifle or pistol must be equipped. Okay, maybe we go like this just to we'll go with the synergy. Well, they only gave me a preview for three of them, so. We'll do the cold heart, even though I do want to heal myself and all that. Little blood heart. You have to pick your... It just kind of gives you an idea? What is this? Do I have to pick? No, it just kind of gives you what you're like, they're making sure you want this. Cool. Here we go. Oh, we get to pick our pet. Puppers, an owl, or an alpaca? Alpaca. Am I supposed to pick this? Why do they keep showing me this? I don't know, man. Call her Molly. I kind of wanted. The, I kind of want the owl. The dog goes happy. Relics can no longer be changed after you pick one. We're stuck with our choice. Hmm. So we're cold now, baby. I'll stick with it. I want to try something new, so. You'll pack a lunch? I'll pack a lunch. All right, let's go with the dog. What kind of, we got golden retriever, chocolate retriever, silver retriever. And with the owl, we got brown and white owl, gray and white, which is really cool. Brown. With the alpaca, some lunch, we got white, golden, and chocolate. I kind of like the owl, dude. That looks cool. That looks like my style. We'll name it chat. I'll bring you guys with me along on this adventure. Woo! No! I have to make it again! The difficulty's on normal. <laughs> Al's one of your favorite animals? Who? Five to six minutes of my life wasted. Yeah. I think once you, uh, once you make one, you can't go back, but we know what we want. So it should be easy. Whoa. Hey, hello. All right. Oh, look at, she can see her hair a little bit. Maybe go with iron sides, dude. Yeah. Let's spend 10 minutes and figure it out again. Yeah, chat, let's spend another 15 minutes and figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just do it. I'm just gonna do what we already did. Once you start on a difficulty, you lose like, like it'll say like you're on the hardest difficulty. And then once you lower it, you can never get that title again, unless they change that also. Like if you start on Inferno difficulty and lower it, you lose your Inferno tag. So if I start on normal, I lose my hard tag and I don't want to lose that. I want to show everybody that we're better than them, chat. Cold heart. Continue. Omega lol. Her hair looks cool. This is a good one. We're gonna go owl. It's a badge of honor. It looks like they show you right here at the end. Difficulty. So ridiculous is the hardest difficulty. Visible to other players. So if you beat the game on ridiculous, then you always have this like, but you can never, if you start on normal, you can never get ridiculous unless you make a new character, right? Cool. 
Here we go. Mm hmm. Alright, I'm buzzing. Yo, what's up gamer fans? How you doing, man? So is the game worth getting? <laughs> this is your first time seeing Torchlight? What are you doing, rookie? Don't just stand there! The fort is under attack! Mm. The and wide loads and his Looks like it kept my it looks like I kept my uh, key bindings. Here we go. Hello, Ash. How you doing? So, do we have the um? So we do. We have the relic stuff right away. Since we start with it, or no? Yeah, look, this is our relic, yeah. I don't know, let's just go kill stuff and see how it goes. Level up. Level up. There we go. 30 months, take care and stay safe, mate. Thank you for the 30, bro. You too, man. Butcher. Unlocking skills. Come on, chat. Get him. Get that yapper, man. They probably nerfed Sharpshooter because... Last time we played it, we were memeing. We found a few crazy builds. This is on the hardest difficulty, so it's like playing Diablo on like T1 or T6 or whatever. I have a lot of HP. Torchlight 3 is in beta still. This is like beta phase 3 or some number. I don't know. I forget. This is the first like boss you come across. It feels good. Controls feel tight enough. It can be polished a little bit, but it feels tight enough. We got a bow. That's good. There we go, 6-9. I like that damage. Perfect. Ooh, the musket 7-6 though. I go nowhere without my strap. Thanks for your help, recruit. We, we want a gun. I think we go for weapons. No can wait. Seems like an extra step, but whatever. 5.3, what the hell? Yeah, I moved like a month ago or three weeks ago and uh, I made a YouTube set and then I decided to test it out on stream and everyone liked it or the majority liked it and uh, I left it basically. You like it? Mm -hmm. The mic is so much better. I got a Shure SM7B microphone. Okay, so I hit level two, so I might have unlocked something. Tight grouping. Groove, it. cold heart. So this is for our relic. Let them feel the taste of cold and the power it offers. Bonus ice damage, chance to chill on hit. Oh wait, so all my points only go to like all three. It's like I have three talent trees now. Hmm. Two years of this blood think. Interesting. Uh, 
Uh, for three seconds after you transform your skin into ice, preventing the next three sources of damage while firing icicles at nearby enemies. Damn, you can like uh, counter like boss abilities. Uh, tier one, you get a more. It's like a. It's like an ice barrier. Yeah. Uh, I think we go for jagged ice. I want to go real thematic. So then I don't have another point for this, or do I? No. Before it was separate, now it's all combined into one, it looks like. Thank you for the 24 months cursed, man. Two years, bro. Thank you. Looks like they gave me two abilities there. Thank you, man. Two effing years, huh? Consumables. What consumable did we get? 10% health boost for a minute. I guess you drag it to the hot bar. There's like there's like light mining and and like what is it? Uh, wood chopping is that? What <laughs> and then you can use it to craft stuff in your fort when you get it. Wood chopper. A little bit of resource gathering, yeah. You already have a cold heart? Feels bad. Alright, the quest is up here. I just wanted to kill a few more. It says level 3. I'm still level 2, so I was like, let me get a little bit of XP, maybe. I did play Torchlight Alpha. Like, every phase, I go back and check out the game, so... But I haven't done a YouTube series in a while for Torchlight, so I thought maybe this would be a good time. And they revamped a lot of stuff. That damage. <laughs> that DPS though. You have a little multi-shot ability to start. This is not looking good, man. They might have bumped up the ridiculous difficulty. Actually made it ridiculous, let's see. Oh, that was good, I don't know. It's just those one zombies have more HP, like these uh, flesh zombies. I need a bigger boomstick. I think the elite is gonna be stupid. It's gonna take, uh oh. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, probably. I could power up this skill and then respec later. I don't even see the, um, the slow effect. There we go. I was like, where's my slow effect? Where's the chance to chill? 30 minute fight. The little guys get shrek here. Get your kite out. I can pull the density with it and get some more, make a bigger meal out of it at least. These guys are almost dead. One weapon upgrade too and it'll change everything. some of this density together and have a drink. Bruce Killis? Is that his name for real? Was that always his name? Bruce Killis? What the hell? Like what if this is an upgrade? No! Mm. Let me grab this and see.
Whoa. Level three. We unlocked um the cube, the legendary the legendarium I think is like the Kanai cube. So we can like put powers in there. Let's go over here real quick and see if I can pick up some DPS. I think they're tracking me. Ah! We can also just uh, town portal out of here. Six nine. This has more crit. Oh, chance to burn. Maybe we'll go to the bow, like Smith said. Evade damage. Maybe just the burn will help. I kind of want to work on the relic, but not if it's going to hurt our DPS. Bonus ice damage. I don't have any ice damage yet though, right? The next three sources of damage while firing icicles at nearby enemies do 200% weapon damage. So this might, we'll try this. Let's try the new skills. Okay. A little ice barrier. That looks cool. That homemade broom bow. You see that? Hey, when you're in a pinch, man, you got to put it together, you know? We got to kill Bruce Killis. Broomstick. Check out my boomstick chat. I wanted to play on the hardest difficulty so it's a challenge and we can min-max everything. So it might be a little slow in the beginning. I think it'll ramp up though. I have a feeling it'll ramp up. Damn. Damn it! I'm half out. He's like the main zone boss, so if we can kill him, then we'll be good. Damn, he summon ads or what? Yo, what a dick, man. I thought you want that 1v1. Maybe I'll get loot for it. Our potions are down, we have seven left. Bastard. We're getting XP? Yeah, we're like almost three and a half. Ah. What is this? A gargoyle? Chat. Don't hit my chat. Gargoyle. Six potions. Honestly, when he spawned that ad, that hurt more than anything. Oh, they have corpse lead. I was like, they're like vortex. They're pulling me in. What's up, Captain Crunch? How you living, man? This 200% multiplier is kind of nice. Ooh, elegant blade. From what I remember, you can use whatever and then still shoot your bow and then it's based on weapon damage. No, 6-3, it's not even... When it's just 1v1, we do pretty well.
You're hanging in there? That's good. Playing some Torchlight, a new patch came out today. Yay, I beat the whole game. So we got some green items. And we got a boss chest over here. Oh shit. Very nice. Astral fork. I'm pretty sure it scales, so now... Yeah, we still shoot. Defense. 23 defense. That's a huge upgrade for defense. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, wait. Place swords on fallen graves. Oh, they're right here. Okay. My bad. Torchlight, yeah. There we go. Another green. That green. Oh, we still have three more. I didn't even do the quest. Oh my god. I didn't have a drink. We still got three more, dude. Chat, how'd I miss all this? Really? You put my items in the middle of all that junk? <laughs> hey! How am I supposed to get over there, man? I gotta draw them out. <laughs> Graveyard best map ever, yeah. We got some boots. Um, it says go back to Travel Point. Let's get out of here. Deuces. I'm out of here. How's the volume? Actually, I can't. Let's see. I can't shoot in town. Is the volume good? I can turn it up a little bit. Fungus Forager. Looks like I have all kinds of stuff. Hell yeah, I'm up to the task. What do you think I'm doing here? Defense. Hell yeah, let's get some rope beers. This bow is a uh, 10.8. <laughs> you can't cast that. Ale. Can I offer you a drink? That bow is worth zero. That might be the starting bow. I think there's like a Kadala type gambler up here. We could gamble for a weapon. It's risky though because we have no money. We have four hundred dollars. It looks like you can't gamble for weapons till later. Wait, one-handed weapon. Oh, 200 weapons are 450. Uh, we don't have a helm though. We can grab a helm. Oh, requires level five. Oh, you can't even gamble. Okay, let's go. You can't even gamble yet. Go to Edgewood Bluff. All right, let's go. We're out, dude. I got me and chat with me. What more do I need? Check Twitter? I can't right now, but I'll look later for sure. Edgewood Bluff. It looks like they've done a lot of things to the balance of the game and like how the relics work, so. This zone is set to level 2 to 5, which is exactly where we are, so. What up, Beats? No, it's still beta. They just did a big patch, so we're just testing it out. It's still beta, though. Yay, waypoint. Oh. Contract? What's a contract? Oh, it's like the... Map work bag. 
It's like your battle pass, I guess. Like a free battle pass. Uh, flame or freeze one-handed weapon, which is good for us. Legendary gear bundle. Okay. Dope. And then we have um, skills, I believe. Onslaught, targeted strikes, fire three piercing shots. I think I'll start going into going at level five into this ability. Until then, I might stick to one of these. Two hundred percent seems pretty solid. Your pet now spawns icicles. Mm hmm. Hmm. The damage goes up by five percent. Blood pat. I don't even have any points anyway. What am I talking about? What is this up here? It says you have unspent skill points. What do you mean unspent skill points? What are you talking about, bro? So this is like your cube, right? You can access the cube from anywhere. Movement skills have one charge. When you use a potion, gain movement speed. This would be good for kiting, I think. What skills, man? You guys drunk? Is there another thing I'm missing? Let's see, skills. Maybe pet skills, no? I think it's just bugged, right? Uh, more potion, potion looks pretty good. Frenzy, hit with the basic attack, gain frenzy, increasing attack speed with basic attacks. I think that is not your ranged attack, I think it's actually basic attack, so. Yeah, look at this frost barrier, man, it's kinda cool. At least early game, it seems pretty good. It'll help me kite a little bit. Mm. We'll go back to this tree real quick. Chopping that wood, son. I haven't played either one, which is, how does it compare to D3? How does Torchlight compare to D3? It's closer to D4 where it's like pseudo open world. Like pseudo MMO ARPG. Like how the how it's set up in a way. But you kill things, get loot, improve your gear, there's end game challenges, like a like a lighter version of uh mapping at the end game, stuff like that. Two elite packs? Oh, we're dead, dude. Damn, they spawned right on top of me, like teleport. That ice barrier. I'm actually doing decent damage. Grim Dawn's uh, the most complete ARPG for like a classic single player game. Level up. Level up. Oh, I don't have basic attacks because I'm using a staff, so I have to manually hit. I'm like, what is she doing? That wasn't so bad for playing on the hardest, and then... We have no build or gear yet, really. Level up. So now we probably have a skill point. Uh, this ice barrier thing does seem pretty hard. 
slowly form a second skin of armored ice, preventing all damage from a single hit. Damn. Frost blast. You fire a wave of icicles dealing 300% weapon damage as ice, chilling them for six seconds. I feel like this jagged ice is better like late game, like it'll really kind of, but this is carrying hard right now. I kind of want this 50% increased duration. Mm. But it's only what, three seconds? So I'd get like what, 4.5 seconds? It's still in beta. Will you go back to last epoch? Yeah, probably. Back up, little fire dudes. All right. Oh man, about, about to have a boss fight or what? No. Is this where the, the wide load chat? <laughs> At level five, we can start gambling other items too. So it might be good to jump back if we hit it. Wide load. <laughs> 11, seven. But I like the crit on the other one. All right, boss fight. Oh, we got a shrine. I should use this. Is that like 80%? That's not bad. I can go DPS when I have the... Um, bubble too, like empty out my ammo so she has like a uh, recharging it's like focus from hunters and wow like it's just recharging over time and uh yeah when i'm out of ammo i should go in like this pop the ice barrier and melee and then back out Can you go into lobbies? I don't know. I've been only play solo, really. Okay, a vortex is gonna ruin my day, I think. Yeah. That is gonna ruin my day, chat. That's gonna get me killed. Save ice barrier for a oh crap moment. Or just use it to kill him, just get rid of him. Even if you're not in range, you get pulled in. That's kind of dumb. And unless I don't see it, it could just be hard to see. I guess it's hard to outrun them until we can kite better. Jesus. You bastard. We're doing pretty good, actually, I think. Pop this. Ah! <laughs> Got a platinum trophy? Swag. Alright. First big boss down. Legendary? Wood Beast. When, if hit below 25% health, gain immunity to fire and goblin damage for 5 seconds. Damn. Uh, we got 10% to block, so 14, and then relic energy costs. One additional bolts fired from shock. Fired on shock. Huh. 
might not even be an upgrade, but I'll take it. 14% chance to block might be good. Mm. Level up. I might go with the fire damage defense too, actually. Pog staff. Let's go get the big chest. Wait, am I supposed to destroy this? It's got cat mushrooms, two out of three. The other one's over here. We got 11 damage, nine physical, 30% faster cooldown damage on a weapon. It's kind of interesting. I would rather use a bow, but this has ice damage on it, which would probably scale. But 11 though, you know, seven crit, potion cooldown, crit damage. Red Bull gives you wings. Go to Travel Point. Let's go. I'm out. It gives you wings. Potions for you. Potions for your little friend. I can sell the map work bag that they gave me for the battle pass and get some get some cash, son. Let's go turn in the quest and see if we hit level five. With the mushrooms, What's that? <laughs> or not. Let's see if we hit level five. Okay, here we go. That ice damage. Quest complete. Dude, we get any XP? Hello? You started a quest. 32 defense, chance to bleed. Okay. This has just health. I, I like the defense, I think. How are you liking the new place? I love it, dude. This is so, um, feels good in here. There's like a breeze and I feel like, um, it's like private and even though like I'm kind of like overlooking like a road, I'm like way up high. It's cool, man. Now the patch feels fun so far. The move went well? Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty chill move. Would you recommend get how much is it right now on Steam? 30 bucks or something? Thirty bucks? Is Torchlight worth thirty bucks? Uh, I think so. It'll probably last you at least 30 hours if you play all the classes on hard difficulty. Yeah, it should last you at least 30 hours. And there's like an end game like with the maps, the map work stuff, I think. I could let you know in a few days. I'm going to be doing a let's play of it. You know. Wait, go to Travel Passage. Oh. I think Wilson was worth it. I put 150 hours in Wilson. It was definitely worth I only paid ten dollars for it two years ago. So yeah, but if you're paying 40 for it, it's probably still worth. I mean it's a lot of hours. Like a dollar an hour is pretty chill. I haven't played Wilson since the new patch, and even before that, I would say it's worth it, yeah. But you can wait for like a sale or something, I don't know. A lot of density at you, huh? Throw a lot of density at you still. Hey. 
Ashes of creation's a scam, you say? <laughs> Getting lots of money here. I mean, next year, I don't even know what games we'll be playing, so. Whoa, blue. That cannon scared the shit out of me. I'll be on Diablo 4 next year, I don't know. I'll probably play Ashes of Creation on launch, I just... It's so far away, it's hard for me to care about it, you know? 7.8, but it's a one-hander. Oh, we get 8 damage with uh, tight grouping, 8% chance to slow by 50% of base speed. You can probably wear it with a shield too or something. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming this is the right way. Who's this guy, man? He's like a zone boss. How long is this going to take if I fight him? Not too bad. Is there hardcore? I don't know actually. I'm playing on Ridiculous, but... I'm not sure if there's hardcore or not. Whoa! I'm committed now, I'm committed now, I want the loot. Come on, you damn Power Ranger enemy. Looking ass. You pay $15 a month to play WoW? An ice barrier. It's level one too. Oh, we blocked it, nice. Blood gets it free. You think I don't play a sub for WoW, is that what you're saying? <laughs> what the heck? You been looking at my financials or what? Yay, we did it! Loot? Alright. Like That'd be cool. Oh, we got some purple orbs. We got some purple orbs here. Okay. That perp. Not level five yet. I feel like the leveling is way slower, but it could just be um, the big, the early game is really slow because you're getting your build together. Like right now, we don't have any synergy with anything or. I think heading, heading, hitting level 5 will be huge. So this is going to go up on YouTube. I'm sure the number one question is going to be, is this game worth it, right? Yeah, I think it's worth 30 bucks, but you know, it's not going to be like, it's not better than like D3 or PoE or Lost Ark right now. But if you got nothing else to do, you know, it's not, it's not a bad option. Between this, uh, Grim Dawn, or Wilson, mm, they're all in the same category, like the, the B team right now, you know? 
Like Grim Dawn's amazing for single player, but that's about it. And it's like been out for so long, you probably get it on sale for like seven bucks. Minecraft Dungeons you can get for free or like a dollar. So those two games are essentially free. You know, essentially. So Wilson and Torchlight, it's really up to you. Whatever, whatever you like more. I put them in the same tier, like on a tier list, you know? Last Epoch? I like Last Epoch, it just, I don't know, there's something about it that keeps me away from it. Defeat Stinkshank. Alright, Stinkshank. Wilson Hype will be back once they come out with their first league mechanic. Especially if it comes out when nobody has anything to do, you know it's gonna be popping, right? Can I just face tank this or what? When's the new house tour coming? Uh, I don't know. I don't have like a time frame, but that's at some point. That ice barrier cooldown. A kitty montage? For you guys, anything, yeah. Sting Shank. Red back. Sometimes I use uh, blue and purple. But red is like, you know, my stream color. Oh yeah, mother trucker, give me the loot. What's all this purple stuff? I think it's going... Oh, fame. Oh, uh, okay, fame. That's like leveling up this... That purple stuff. Oh, rare gear bundle. Oh shit, let me get some loot, boys. Should I hit level 5 first? I wonder how it works. At your current level. Huh. Go to Travel Point. Let's go. All right. Let's see what's up, dude. I want to try to level from the quest XP. But I don't think you get XP. Have I gotten XP? Go to your fort. What's up, Parimatrix? Good to see you, man. Have I even got XP for a quest turn? It feels weird to be like, I did the thing, and then they're like, all right, thanks. Thanks, bro. Simply enchanting. Hey there, General Gray stationed me here to help you with the basics of strengthening your fort and guide you through some other fortifications. Are you ready? I guess. Bloodshed's fort. It's looking mad empty. Function? Enchanter, Enchanter's Altar. You have cool. Quest. Arms cart. Break down legendary gear at your enchanting altar to unlock additional passive skills and obtain essence. 
At higher levels, you'll be able to use Essence at the Enchanter's Altar to enchant items. These high level items will drop enchanting slots. High level monsters can also drop recipes. So you like right click it and then you can get rid of the... And get essence for it. So like I have the... what's a good... I think I'll, oh my legendary. We probably need legendary stuff to do it. Two handed range. Okay. I want to enchant this. Looks like I'm not high enough level yet either. Okay. Either way, I finished the quest. Collect a sack of luck seeds from a champion monster. Collect fertile soil from trees. Wait, who do I gotta go to? This guy? Go to the fields of unrest. So many lives Yo, nobody wants to give me XP around here, man. You notice that, right? Let's go to the next zone. It's still in closed beta? Yeah, it's still in closed beta. Levels 5 to 6. I think we're five or four. We're not even five yet, dude. We might have to do some grinding. An action, R an action RPG can be anything, like even Shadow of Mordor or Assassin's Creed. I guess when I call it an ARPG, I'm referring to the Diablo-like ARPG. I guess that's what I would call it. All right. I might do a little bit of grinding just to get our level up because I feel like we're we're questing too fast. Ooh, rifle could be an upgrade. Venomous long barrel. We're kind of trapped back here. So. Not bad. Roguelike. This game? Mm. Yeah, the zones, the mobs have levels in the zone. <laughs> Call me a dork feels bad. I'm so embarrassed, chat. This is like a little baby side grade. I know this has ice damage on it, but I'm gonna go with defense, honestly. Like, screw that. You can also send things to your pet. This is still not an upgrade. It does increase damage with precision skills, and I can attack from range. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna send all these to the pet. And then you can send them to town. Just sell stuff. You can't see because I have the Cyber Power logo in here. Let me let me move this. Move. Why are you like this? Oh my goodness! Me move the whole. Let's me move the whole interface, but not the cyber power logo. What the hell? Okay. I think my OBS is having a mental breakdown. That's so hard, bro. Are you kidding? I'm just gonna put it down here. Just away from the, so you can see the pet and then it comes back after like two minutes. Let's see if this one lets me move it. Yeah. 
And Cyber, Cyber Power is having, like, he was like, hell no, bro. Um, I'll just put it like over here for now. I didn't make a, I didn't make an overlay for it, so I'll probably look at it afterward. Yeah, you can see it's level five to six right here. And I'm level five, it's down here. So I guess I'm bare, I just barely leveled, I'm barely in range right now. I have one point. I'm gonna start probably putting it in targeted strikes. I think. Fire three piercing shots that deal 119 damage. And then you can see the different tiers. As you unlock it, you get more stuff. So 30% ammo recharge. Each hit deals 25% more damage. Every third strike fires a larger arrow that deals double damage eventually. Your pet has arrived. Volley. You also have a adventurer talent tree. We can go over here. Oh, maybe one point in ghost for movement speed. This is like a teleport ability. This might be really good. You can summon two goblins to help you. Yeah, this might be really good. Um, but I do have a defensive ability already. I might just stick with ice, dude. What would, oh, I can get these now too. Okay. Uh, frost skin is passive. Slowly form a second skin of armored ice, preventing all damage from a single hit. Frost skin will recharge automatically every 70 seconds. 70 seconds, bro. Are you kidding? Fire a wave of icicles dealing 300% weapon damage. That's a grip. And chilling them for six seconds. Well, I guess each of my three arrows does 110. So if I hit them with all three arrows, that would be more single target. This uses relic energy though. And then it synergizes with the cold skills we're doing. Icicles break on impact, hitting enemies behind the enemy struck. Frost blast now freezes. I mean, I never got to use this before, so I might stick with the cold theme. I do want to try this though. Let's just stick with the cold theme. Yeah, that should be pretty good. It's been on Steam for a few months now. It's just a, a different beta phase. Wait. Wait, is there an overlay map? Do I have my relic skill now? I think I have my relic skill now. Let's go test it. Maybe it was level 5 chat. Or it just uses energy? I'm not sure how it works anymore. It's like a ice, it's like a ice multi-shot. Okay, more ways to build. I guess it's kind of cool, but. And you can, there's, there's items on gear that allow you to recharge your relic faster. I can use my other precision abilities while it's recharging. I was getting used to melee a little bit. I guess you can't activate it anymore. Can you? You used to have to activate your relic and then you had like a beast mode. Active relic skills require energy. Spend skill points to unlock enhance abilities. Relics are powerful subset of skills attuned to your select character class and are available under the relic skills menu. Alright. I think. Yeah, it's different than it used to be. 
Oh, we hit level five. I want to open up that gear pouch now and see. There we go. Rare gear bundle. Give me the loot. 12 defense, ammo. I could have saved it. Probably would have been better, but we got two pair of gloves, which aren't really helping us. Attack speed for basic attacks. Yeah, this didn't really help. We could have got a weapon though. I still don't have a helm. I think I'm gonna go buy a hat real quick. With my cash. Primal Trifecta Bandamite on Barb. Damn. Damn. Let's go to Kadala here. Just who I wanted to see. We can also buy a weapon. Which not an upgrade. Oof. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Nice hat, dude. You can't buy shoulders to level seven. Okay. <laughs> I've got those. Maybe I should save these for enchanting. I don't know. See you next time. All right. So far, so good. It's interesting to see how everything changed from where it used to be. I kind of like. I've been playing Torchlight since like the first alpha. Like, I mean, I would pop in for a little bit and then pop in for 20 hours or so, then check in on it. You can't do I like that the ice version kind of has a synergy. It kind of looks like I'm shooting it. It's like a cold version of multi-shot, like this, this ability. I like that. You can't cast that spell here. Damn, that bomb almost killed him. Damn, son. Go to the ch uh, chasm. You can't do that. Uh, two, three, four. Timo reporting for duty. The gameplay has only gotten better since I first played it. I have pretty good control over my character, but it's not perfect yet. Yo, Tota, thank you for the thousand bits. I appreciate that. Try to group them up. My pleasure. I really appreciate the support. Lots of subs today, also. Back, demon. Clip up, man. Brat. I think this is the right way. Who knows, honestly.
Hungry? Hangry. <laughs> I was like, what? It's a mimic, dude. It's a mimic boss. Say what? That spell can't be cast. I don't know if this is worth the time investment. If it's not part of the quest. Waypoint. No, what a run to. Ah, oh, this vortex is too much. Let's get out of here, man. Uh oh. You feel much healthier. Hmm. That was good DPS right there. That's the tree they want me to go to. This is a cluster, man. I'm just barely getting by with my defensive cooldowns and potions. That vortex is savage. And like a lot of enemies have it at this low level too. You can't cast that here. If I could just shake the vortex mob, we can kite. What's up, tripping buns? How you doing? So the relic cooldown used to be like a crazy big DPS beast mode. I relied on that a lot, but you don't have it anymore. You kind of get a little bit of the power all the time versus just like a two minute cooldown, I guess. Like I would have bursted him already with the relic probably. Yo blood the IRF 225 black tank top and the diamond encrusted cat leash for walking <laughs> me around town is on the way. Yo Marge, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate that. Damn. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can just sprint away now. Get the tree. Got it, got it. Wait, we don't got it, we don't got it. We got it. Fertile soil. Woo. Okay, next part. Seed of luck from a champion monster. I wonder if one of these is a champion. I think that's a rare. I don't even know the names. Champion, like the guys in the caves and stuff, like the big, the big boys. You can't do that. Ice barrier, save me. And yeah, these guys aren't even low, or like they're regenerating or something. Right, let's see where this is. Excuse me. Is it a ZDPS build? I mean, I could play on normal difficulty and just walk through the game, you know? It's just a trade off. So, for me, this is more entertaining, I guess. What's this? Oh, just like a... 
It was like glowing. Is this new? I don't remember these actually. What's up, Corey? How you doing, man? I hate this vortex ability. It feels like they all have it. Oceanside is beautiful. Nice, man. Have fun, brother. Thanks for the resub, too. Yeah, we're gonna die down here. Man, this vortex thing is annoying for, I guess for me, since I'm trying to kite. Give me a weapon. Please. The zombies are closing in. Almost, almost got me, dude. Look at all these enemies, bro. Are we almost level six? How many people have we killed? You can't cast that here. Back to the shadow, dude. And we're getting XP, we're almost six. Whoa! Last potion. I guess I can jump out. Hello, more enemies. Hello. What's this? Uh oh. Between a rock and a hard place. They got me. They got me, chat. Those bastards. Reviving town? Yeah, let's revive in town. They finally got me. Well, that was tragic. <laughs> mm. Whoa, look at all the people, dude. All the people. You look pale. Can I offer you a drink? I think I have some stuff here. Sell it. I'm gonna sell it all for cash. Oh, is, is we can actually go to um because we have no potions, right? We can switch our cube to the potion one. That way we can build up our potion supply as we run back through. If you have money, I got gear. Let's go for that weapon, dude. Hmm, this might not pay off. Yeah, this might not work. This might not be the smartest. Random shield, random boots, pants. It's mostly just the DPS, really. We gotta get that sick weapon. We'll get one. Uh, let's go back. Mm -hmm. We'll get it. We're almost level six, and then that'll be more DP, more weapon damage, and then stuff like that. Better drops. Mm. Whoa! They're all here. Leave me alone. I don't want to play with you. Mm. Run, blood, run. I, I was gonna run back to it, that way I had my potions, but... That shit is so annoying. Well, I even play ranged if everybody's gonna have a gap closer. Mm. Bastards. 
Must get to the question mark. The chasm. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Now let's see. Hopefully it's better in here, dude. We got a weapon, 10.3, has poison damage, has more crit, knockback, 25% chance to poison, yeah we'll use that. Give us some more like maybe damage over time even though we lose precision damage. How can I buy a weapon? You can't use that Whoa. Legendary, man. Damn, unleash the icicle clip. You can't catch that. That was a knockback proc right there. That was good. Kadala? I tried that, man. I wasted like all my money and got nothing. <gasps> oh, I thought it was something important. 9.4 poison, 8.2 to block, fired, uh, okay. nothing really. I think it was the quest, uh, one of the quest items. Yeah, go to Travel Point. It was one of the quest items, maybe. Mm -hmm. Real icy, man. Into a majestic luck tree. Plant this. Oh, the luck tree. The luck tree is like a way to give your count magic find. And then when you have alts, they get the benefit as well. Let's go check it out. Let's stay together. Loving you, weather. Times are good or bad. Happy or sad. Mm -hmm -hmm. Functional. We gotta make that luck tree, dude. Uh, I mean, decoration. Pet shelter? We have to build one of these anyway. Uh, arms cart is for our character. And that's how you respec. Oh, here it is. Place from inventory. It's the, You can move it whenever you want to. Here's the luck tree, dude. You feed it like loot? And then it grows to a big like cherry blossom and then it gives your account like magic find. And then there's other ones like this one will give you um, like poison. This one does something and this one does something also like the different like this is the, the goblin one. So it probably gives you fire res or goblin resistance. Interesting. Here's what the luck tree looks like, or not. Talk to Sergeant Clive. You normally can click on it. I don't know. You have finished a quest. Okay, so maybe now you can go. I think I just did it ahead of time. 
Go back to the chasm. Maybe I can click on it now. Let's see. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It has like a five levels, one, two, three, four, five. It says right here, 1% gear luck. It's kind of behind chat. Um, I should go to my portal. We can go try to get a weapon. I want to wait till level six though. That way the weapon is scaled higher because I'm about to hit level six, so. Salt and pepper or marinade for this uh, weekend's tri-tip. I like soy sauce. I've been, I've been all about that soy life. So probably pepper and soy sauce. I guess salt too because I mean, Soy sauce has a lot of salt in it, though. I know. We're like a one big bar away. Let it rip, dude. We're like Ash from League of Legends. Do you recommend this? If you got $30 to spend, it'll probably last you at least 30 hours of gameplay. You know? And I haven't played the new patch. This is my first time playing the new patch. I don't know if the end game is more expanded or the map works device is more fleshed out? I have no idea. It might be. Oh, is it? Is my health low? Blue? Weapon? Annihilator 10.8 not, It's not that big of an annihilator. I could use a shield though, maybe I don't know if it's an annihilator bro, but Equip it and die Bastard. You can't cast that here. Yo, can I get a legendary? That'd be great. Like a weapon legendary? You moved again? Like you moved a different to a different place? Move twice like in a month or two months? That's crazy. That was nice of you to do that. Now I'm on Boboa and 805. Damn. Two times like in a month or two months? I think it was like within a month maybe, maybe two months. You probably know more than me.
Level me, please. Oh, July 2nd and today? Wow. Hey, we got a freaking... We got, that's, we got a lot of loot from it. 10.9. Bonus to crit damage. 18 defense, chance to evade. 41. I'm going to go with the fire, I think. Look at our hat, dude. Bob, do something. You made your wife pay for the movers? A power move, man. You have gained a level. level six. Hey, Valdor, what's up, man? Hey, Snooky. You can't cast that here. All right, cool. Whew. Well, damn, if my husband would demand this, I would make him do all the hard work. <laughs> I saw that. I saw Fall Guys nerfing the um, the tail ending. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Royal Fumble. They're nerfing Royal Fumble, man. I was pretty upset, I guess. As much as you can be upset about a kid's game. I'm like, really? Oh, we just got a weapon from this? Oh, this is where we come back? Oh, it's a recipe. They wouldn't, would they give me a recipe I can't even use for a long ass time? Let's see. Wait, this is gonna break it down. How do I learn this? I click on it from here? Oh, that's just an achieve. That's just a an enchantment. It's not like an actual weapon. Uh, never mind. I definitely could have used a weapon though. Could have used that. Can you get them? Can you make the map works now, or do you have to make the map works after you level? Probably at the end. Probably after you level everything. Makes the most sense. One bedroom apartment with no roomies. It's cool to see everybody in town. I don't know, like little things like that. It makes you feel like you're part of a community or like uh, other people are playing the game, not just you. Potions <laughs> for you, potions for your little friend. Let's try to get lucky and make a two-hander. Here for coin. Here for coin. Twelve point five. A uh, chance to burn. It's technically better. A giant ass weapon. We're getting by. I mean, it's not like the smoothest ride, but yeah, we're getting by, chat. Those stone gauntlets. These guys are like impossible to kill.
I mean, we skip juggernauts, right? Might as well just skip it. Maybe they're just overtuned, man. They announced their next DLC for Minecraft Dungeons. That's pretty cool. Let me get that, let me get that. Not having your big relic cooldown really hurts. Like, I, I guess I relied on it too much. Because the elites have so much HP. But I could have just relied on it way too much. Okay, where do I go, chat? I'm a little confused. There's just a dead end or what? You can't cast that spell here. You are near death. My last potion. Oh, there is no pathway down from here, damn. Is disconnected. You can't use that skill. Eh? All this way for nothing? This whole way? Oh, there's a point over here. Uh-oh. This way. Go, 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 go. He's trying to kill me, man. He's trying to take my life away. I keep passing it somehow. Oh, it's up here. Oh, shit. My bad. Mm-hmm. Blood in my eye chatting, I can't see. Trying to be what I'm destined to be. These imps, yeah, trying to take my life away. I feel like I don't get potions at all. I even have the potion passive ability. Like, hello? We get 50% potion luck. Where, where is my potions, man? There we go. Spanking him with the big sword. And here comes an elite we have to run from. We got a weapon though. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
Nine only. Filthy POS. Oh, defeat Crunch. Oh, this guy's Crunch. I'm sure this will be great. I mean, four potions. We got that Condi pile pile on. What does everyone display chat on screen? Not everybody watches on their PC or not everybody watches with uh, chat next to the, they go to the theater mode or whatever. If you watch on your phone, you don't have to ruin your phone space or if you're watching on your Xbox or PlayStation, whatever, you can have chat up with full screen. We're doing okay damage-wise against the boss. Some of the elites, I think, are overtuned or something. The bosses seem to go down at a boss-like pace, I guess. Loot, 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 loot. At a boss-like pace. Whoa! Does the chat piss you off? Why are you guys pissing off new uh, viewers, guys? We want you auto ourselves. You're behaving, you swear? Okay. Number one fan. You can't cast that. Chat number one. This little ice barrier carries, I think. I should go full ice. What is this? A bag? Random fort decoration? I got respectacles. Respectacles are like respect points. If you guys didn't catch it. Random four, we got diagonal pier. Okay. 9.2 pistol. Again, none of these are upgrades. 10 bow. Yeah, these are just no upgrades. Maybe here? Ooh, blue? Mask of the Silent? I think that's a shield, no? Rare Focus. Yeah. 53 health. This is a slight upgrade. I mean, we're doing it, I guess. Go to the Fields of Unrest. I mean, we've been getting by, barely. Damn, he's still the same HP we left him, like, a long time ago. Damn hangry. You are Same webcam. Oh, I see a blue. Another blue, a bow? I'm oh, starting to pop off, chat. Oh, shit. Thompson motivator, 11.8. What's a Thompson motivator? That's so, can't be 
Empty the clip. That's just the wave. Yeah, two blues out of nowhere, man. You can't use that skill. We have to go to the trial of fire, wherever the hell that is. These guys are low. Hangry! I will have your head on a spike before this is done. Got him down, one of them. This guy's not even that close. Let's go get this. Let's go get the loot at least. A nimble plated bracers. Oh, what if there's a strat? Like if you grind the fame, you can probably get loot from the tree. I know you can like uh, change contracts too. So. Man, you better drop some blue. You can't use that skill. Legendary something. No. Long barrel, 10.2. Get out of here with that. Trying to be what I'm destined to be. Send all these to the pet. Trial of fire. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's um for the exit. Mm-hmm. Is it in the chasm, maybe? No. Gonna make my 5G go away. They decrease the legendary drop rates. Have you noticed that? You can't cast that here. Imagine if Diablo 4 released next month. That would be pretty cool, man. I'm with you, bro. That didn't guy, that didn't guy dropped nothing, man. A lot of these that we were fighting earlier. Where'd that rat go? You see him? You're close to dying. There's only one left. I might as well kill him here. Plated bracers. You can't press that. Oh, we leveled. I didn't put a skill point, I don't think. Your pet has returned. You can't do that here. This thing slaps.
Yo, chill. What's up, Key? How you doing, man? Um, we probably gotta go to the next zone to get higher level drops. Honestly. Let's go to town really quick, just so I can focus on what skill point I want to use. Your net's been out all day? Oh, that sucks, man. Damn. <laughs> Contract. Another map works bag. Some rewards. I got some gold. We get a at level ten. We get a two-handed weapon, but oh, it's a recipe. It's not even like a weapon. You can switch your contracts, and you can look at them. So. Like, I wonder if there's like a strat here. Switch contract. Rare gear bundle at level 5. So if I switch, I can get some gear at level 5. But then, you know. I stopped progressing toward the one that I was working on. You get a Siamese cat. Legendary gear bundle. I think both of them have a legendary gear bundle. Yeah, level 13, so I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Let's see what kind of skills we got here. I think I'm going to stick to the frost, I guess. Seventy seconds. I don't know about that frost skin. At level 10, we get um, another tier of abilities. Mm. Right now it's online only. There's going to be a single player version at some point though. Tight grouping now fires a second burst every third volley. So we have that respect point too. Um, this is the arms cart where you can do it. If you want to pull one off of it. Oh, it looks like we have two. So Iceberry is crazy good. This doesn't seem like it does anything. It does more frost damage, which synergizes with the whole kit. You fire a wave of icicles dealing 300% weapon damage as ice, chilling them for six seconds. I don't think the each one is 300 either. Trying to be what I'm destined to be. So now we have 50% duration. This thing's been carrying for me, so I'm just going to stick with it. And then you get a damage increase as well. If I put three more skill points, uh, the ice barrier icicles now pierce enemies. And we have another point as well. Um... Fifty percent duration for onslaught. That's like an AOE grinding spec too. Um, 
How long does it last? So it's like 4.5 seconds and it's on a... What the hell's the cooldown? 20 second cooldown? What a weird spec I made. Just around this ice shield thing. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna go up in damage if I put a point in it. It pierces, and then your pet can also do it. Is it worth to go past this point, or do I just go into cold and then give myself all frost damage, I guess, from here? If it pierced, that'd be great. This feels like it hits way harder than this does. I think it's a 300 total, so like it fires like what? Like a, like four of them or five of them? I feel like they're uh, split up. That doesn't hit nearly as hard as this does. For three seconds you transform your skin in ice, preventing the next three sources of damage while firing icicles at nearby enemies, each dealing 220. Like this hits way harder than this. And this is 300. So it must be like split up for each individual hit where each is 220 here. I think we go for the pierce and just see if it's nutty. Let me go for the pierce, man. Ice Mage Demon Hunter? Yeah, I don't even know what this is. Okay. Um, do we have money? We do. We just go buy a weapon, I guess. I mean, this isn't bad. It's not bad. We gotta find this trial of fire, too. I need a pimp cane to go with that hat. Levels five to six. What level are we? Five? Six? Six. It could just be getting easier because we're level, we're appropriate level now. I don't know. It's been interesting trying to figure it out early game. These zombies are level five, let's see. It just shoots more maybe? Here's some more zombies. You can't cast that spell here. Shit. Oh, this feels like it doesn't hit at all, man. One of them is broken. Now you can see the damage that they took. And this just slaps. Is Steam reviews, what are the, what, is it negative for Torchlight? I haven't looked. What's the, what's the Steam percentage right now? Oh, blue gun, blue gun, blue gun. Oh, it's mixed. Mixed isn't that bad, I guess. You were just looking at it. 10.8. You are wounded. You're wounded. You can't catch that here. Three shots and couldn't kill one thing and then uh oh. These guys are tough.
Most reviews these days are pretty toxic. I played this game on and off over the years. Uh, I always thought it was fine, you know? I'm excited to test every time they get a new patch and everything. It's like a $30 game, you know? The new patches feel refreshing. Yeah. Whenever it officially releases, then most people will probably buy it and try it. But like until then, yeah, we're going through the beta phase, the test phase. The basic attack of the boat is 200%, the one-hander does 75, but then you probably get to wear offhand, I guess. Bonus ice damage here. Defense, crit when shock. Uh, relic energy cost, 6.6. .6. Hmm. We got a shrine in here and a chest. I mean, if it pierced, it'd probably be savage. I'm curious to see how it scales. Bold helmet. Yeah, it's not like released yet. Yeah, this game's not like actually out yet, so. True, true, true. Let me go! Let me go! Let me in! Let me in! Again, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty just because I want a challenge, you know? Like, this game looks hella slow right now. I'm playing on, like, basically Torment 6, right? You can see the, diff the ridiculous tag here. For leveling, so I'm just doing it for fun, basically. Normal modes of snooze? Yeah, probably. I agree. Okay. Not much, but I really enjoy your content. Hey, I appreciate the five, man. No, it's, that's plenty for me, man. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm getting swarmed here, boys. I'm burning all my defensive cooldowns. I can't wait for this to pierce, like situations like that might be so good. I don't know where the trial of fire is, man. Level up. Level up. That spell cannot be cast. Oh shoot. Oh, this way? I'm going. I'm on the way. We have another skill point also. Oh, this is the waypoint actually. 
That works. Let's go uh, put our skill point in. One step closer to uh, the piercing. What does your pet do? Fights for you, um, sells stuff back in town. You can give it abilities. But it sounds crazier than it is. It's pretty simple. You can just give it all to your pet and send it. But there is like abilities and stuff. Bronze dust mage statue. Five hundred gold from that shit. Five hundred G men. Skills. We stick to this. One more point, we get Ice Barrier, or if we get a Respect respect point. We get one at level 9, so we can actually just, uh, yeah, we'll get one guaranteed right here when we hit level 9. If we just grind. Just to see how hard it hits once it's piercing and everything. You just bought Pokemon Platinum, really? Damn. You ready? You ready for this journey that's about to unfold? You can't catch that. I mean, it's hitting harder too. Every rank, like this, this ability just keeps getting stronger too. So probably focusing on one thing is a good idea in general. You can't use that skill. Every let's play, I just find the strongest thing and work on it. They're probably like. Blood, why you do this, man? <laughs> why are you breaking our game? I just like find the one thing that's <laughs> cling to it. You just bought an 11 year old game, Omega Lol. Let me get that, let me get that. It's a bold helmet, Cotton. You are dying. I'm out. I'm out. We're looking for the Trial of Fire. I think that's where you fight Wide Load. <laughs> this affix is so annoying, dude. Get out of my life. There is a teleport ability we could learn to help with that. What's in here? Lost Cellar. There's a grip of elites. I just fight the regular trash mobs, honestly. Another elite with that affix. Really? Jeez. Chugging potions over here, man, like left and right. Look at that XP go up, though, that bar. No! <laughs> Are you watching this torchlight? What the hell, man? Who tested this shit? How are you going to have this vortex on every elite? 
<laughs> oh my god. We did say it was ridiculous blood. There's the trial of fire that's in there. We did say it was ridiculous difficulty. Ridiculously annoying with these pulls. Oh, what's this? I'm just trolling, man. What else am I doing but trolling, you know? Not living. If you ain't trolling, you ain't living. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Light it up. Light it up, boys. Yeah, yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Busy living or busy trolling? One of the two. I should just zone in, but I want to kill this. It says there's two out of three alive, so this should do it. Shield, potion, halfway to level. That ain't bad. What level is this zone? This is a five to six zone. Yeah, we're, I think we're six or seven. So this is a little bit under us. Let's keep it up. Go to wide loads layer. Okay, so now this is a level 6 zone and we're level 7. I'm just gonna run to the end. Until I have to be- until I'm forced to fight the density, I guess. I have a good amount of potions too, there's really no reason. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to just burn them anyway. out. Run to the thing. The question mark. I might as well use this little conduit pylon. ARPGs need bloodshed mode. Even with this man, it like barely does damage. Like everything is like unless it scales off your weapon damage, then makes sense, I suppose. Right, here we go, level seven. He might kill me. He has like one shot mechanics, I think. So we'll see what happens. It's this dude right here. Oh shit. Enjoy cross save games on the Nintendo Switch. Sorry. Do you understand? What? Yes. Like the Witcher. I hope you do. Civ. Minecraft, Fortnite. That's crazy. Yeah, we're on that Torchlight 3 life chat. You should follow Varys's example. I will try, Mother. See that you do. Now go, my daughters. 
my dark outlanders. See that my It's the Windrunner sisters, man. In case you don't know. All right, here we go. Trial of Fire, man. Wide load. <laughs> I don't know how he got this name, but I'll leave it up to chat to decide. Got a big body, baby? Maybe. Let's go. Oh, uh, not the most damage for our first burst cycle. We have bleed on our weapon at least. Not the most damage for our second DPS cycle. We're doing good though. He starts summoning adds, I believe, and then he's, yeah, we have to just keep, he keeps us moving, and then he starts summoning projectiles. We absorb three hits, he can stun apparently through my ice barrier, which, okay. I guess I'm okay with that. He starts charging. Ah! Which way are you going, bud? Which way are you going? Yeah. Oh, shit. No! Oh, we are a goner, man. So my three immunity hits get absorbed quick with all this density, I noticed. Man, this boy's got 60%, 70%, 70. I was concerned right away. I was like, damn, this might be a while. Why do I get angry? Smork. Let's keep the bleed on him. What can we do, you know? That was a good one to absorb. Just stand there and face tank it. What? Yay, 49% Kappa. We fought that beast. Don't get caught in there. I think at 30% he starts summoning these like things from the ceiling. Like rocks. They hit really hard. And just requires more moving, more kiting, less DPS, because we can't focus solely on DPSing. Are we getting XP? We're at 345.
I don't think so. I wonder if this barrier procs on hit effects or something. Yeah, it's swiped now. So here's the things from the ceiling. Ice, ice, baby. Ding, 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 ding. You, you made chat run away? Oh, hell no. You can hurt me, but don't mess up my chat. You can use that barrier tactically, like to take hits, like in that situation. It's great. Wow. Twenty five percent. No, once you, you don't have to rebuy it. No, no, no. Mm -mm. That's great. I'm just going to pop the potion, even though we don't need it yet. I just got through so much, I don't want to like end up getting killed like, you know, because we get stingy on a potion. One, two, three. LOS. Whoa! We almost ate that, dude. Damn, he might catch it now. Whoa. Close. One more. Ah. The killer comes back one final time. 21 months. Thanks for the great chill content as always, Mr. Bloodman. You're welcome, Stomp. Woohoo! Thank you for the 21 months, man. That's a long time to support. I really appreciate it. Oh, we got a respect point. Nice. Man. That was a long kite. We get a pet. We got a little uh, alpaca here, Alfonso. He is uh, he gives all of our pets the ability to use this uh, this ability, I guess this uh, passive. Ten percent chance to block regardless of shield. Cool. Another blue mark of the silent, which I don't like. Thirteen damage. That's good. It's not a bow, but 14 damage. Okay. We're starting to snowball chat. We won't, it, was a, it was a rough start, but I can see us, man. We're starting to pull ahead. 31 defense, two electric damage. This has ice damage, so I'll sacrifice a little bit. This is a slight upgrade. When hit, if below 25% health, gain immunity to fire and goblin damage. 
on the 60 second cooldown. Okay. Go to Travel Point. Let's do it. Yeah, the pets have perks. The streamer buff. <laughs> uh, the man carver of Torchlight 3. Yeah, the, the butcher. I guess a little bit. I guess a little bit. Um, let's go sell this stuff. Oh yes, potions. <laughs> I've got those. We got some cash. I feel like I have more money on this let's play than I had in the past. Already. We got a respect point as well, which is nice. Mad dog. Thank you for the 22. Wood plank? No, a, a random decoration or wood plank? I'd rather have a random decoration, bro. I have. You started a quest. Life bound. River gobsack. What was that? Uh, go to Firebelly Village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a new weapon upgrade, so I don't need to really do anything with it. I'm gonna go back to here, then take the portal back outside. I think it's probably a faster run. I might not have gotten a waypoint. There's no like overlay map unless I'm tripping. There's only this thing. This is technically an overlay map, but not like an overlay map. Yeah, tab doesn't work for me, so. Are you playing the game too? Let me get that, let me get that. Right, let's go. Mm -hmm. All that juicy XP, man. So much density, huh? You have an overlay map? Not like that? I got a blue scroll. You have a normal overlay map? Hit tab two times. What the fuck? This is what happens when I hit M for map. You guys have a different screen than that. Interesting. I might go look for the key bind or something. Interesting. Killed me, dude. Thirteen point one. Check your bindings. Overlay map is set to three. Oh my god, thank you. Why the hell would I ever set it to three? 
What am I, my drunk chat? Thank you, man. Why would I put it on three? Maybe it was something else and then I don't know. Maybe they changed it because I haven't really done my key binding since alpha. I wonder if it was maybe something else or maybe I'm just crazy. Let's go. Mm. Woo! That traditional ARPG overlay, huh? I gotta have it. Yeah, I'm probably crazy. I feel like I'm normal for the first few hours of the stream and then after many hours go by, I get, I get a little wacky. There we go. You vote cra- oh my god, everyone's voting crazy? The recommended level is 7 to 8, so these are going to be a little bit higher, but we should have higher drops to compensate. Still debating if you want to drop 30 or not. I wouldn't buy Wilson or Torchlight unless you have extra cash, you know, and you like want to have some fun for a little bit. You know what I mean? Abandoned mine. Okay, well, there we go. Perfect. I could have went and looked for the waypoint, but we just got the trot. Did we just get the path? Hold on. I can't leave? Oh. Yeah, I did like one, yeah, I'm like 120 to uh, 150 in Wilson also. Not counting Alpha before it was on Steam. That's just like the Steam hours. I'm pretty sure I clicked on this. I'm just making sure. That way I can come back if something happens. Is this the most amazing $30 game I ever played? No, Darkest Dungeon is the most amazing $30 game I ever played. But I think it's about a dollar an hour, which is okay in my book. I'm pretty happy with it. I wish you luck, man. I wish you all the luck. You're getting ready to drop 50 on Final Fantasy 14? I mean, that'll last you, like, if you like it, that's like infinite content, right? Like, MMOs have, like, thousands and thousands of hours. So if you're looking for the most bang for your buck, like, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, you know, PoE, Diablo 3. Depending on what you're into, I guess. Black Desert Online, MMOs. Fantasy Star? I haven't played the new one. Or they just remake it? Gotta have it. Oh, we're about to level and get that skill point. I can't wait to see how, uh, how it is. That DPS. You can't do that. One little spider, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Skills. Um, here we go. So now they pierce and they hit harder. Am I going to go past this? I don't know. At some point, I'm getting I'm getting 5% per level. Now that I don't want the tier 3, if I don't want the tier 3 bonus, I can get 5% per level over here. And then get an, an additional thing. So I can still power this up without powering it up. Well, I mean, this actually is ability damage and then this would be cold damage, so I don't know. 
how the scaling, if it's additive or not. So this still might be better to put points in. Oh, do you? You're a nerd? I agree, me too, man. Yeah, I played I played all the popular ARPGs. Grim Dawn's really good. It's just, you know. The combat isn't my favorite, and uh, I like more online games, I guess. Parrot grants 10% chance to block, regardless of shield. All allies gain 25% increased damage. I'm going to use this, actually. And I'm going to stick with all res, too. Okay, let's go check this. Let's go check this ability out, man. Like, Grimdown's great, dude. It reminds me of, like, those old school, like, ARPGs where they're, like, you know, like, some kind of... Like, it's just fleshed out. It's just... Not online, and it's just chill. It's like almost too chill for me. Oh, just it just basically just uninterrupted. It's almost like a overpenetration for Demon Hunter. Overpen. Be better with a grip of density. Would you buy and you didn't like? Here we go. Let's try it with a little bit more density. Nice. Better, better. Oh, Grim Dawn. It's controversial because people love Grim Dawn, man. So whenever I say Grim Dawn's kind of boring to play or whatever, it's one small step for man. It's controversial shit. It's just kind of boring to play, but sometimes you don't need crazy gameplay. You just want immersion. Like it's good for like that old school immersion. You know, like there was a, a few storylines that were really cool in the game. Like one of them was like a cannibalism and then I found a note and then it talked about what happened to the people there. And then there was another storyline with demonic possession. I had a really fun time. It's just almost too slow for streaming. Maybe I'd play it like on my own, just chill. There's a lot of running and it's just slow. But I was really immersed. So it was a trade off. Like, I know I don't even care about the story that much, but I was kind of into the Grim Dawn story. I was finding things along the way. I'm super into the Diablo story, actually. But not, it takes a lot for me to care about it. Like, they have to really be driving it home. I don't remember the character customization. I remember the the general customization with the dual classes and the constellation passive tree was good. I like how they had a D3 planner built in to the interface it was amazing. It's a great game. It's just too, it's just not as fun to play. Like I'd rather just play Wilson even though it's a inferior product. It's just more fun to play, I guess. If that makes sense. Oh, you're talking about the transmog. Oh, I see, I see. I don't even know if there was any character customization. I don't remember it at all. Like the character, like making my character. Let's go. It's gonna be another long boss fight. Methinks.
It's a good thing I stacked all that fire res, dude. These damn spiders. I mean, if I go, if I can somehow get relic ability cooldown, we can have this like icicle bubble up a lot, make some kind of weird AOE build. Ice AOE, Archer. Get all the views, man. Dominate the tube. Layer of Fuego. Layer of Fire. Okay. The Abandoned Mine. Layer of Fuego. Wow. Range attack, uh, range slow. Huh. Fire AOE. Was he at 90%? to maybe kite around. Ah! Oh, it looks like the, the tick from the fire takes away a shield. That makes sense, I guess. I gotta pop that and not walk in the fire. I'd rather just run around this rock, it feels safer. You can't catch that. Damn, did he power up his claw or something? His fang? Fire fang? Bro, this guy is full HP. Practically. <laughs> Freaking fire fang, man. Got 11 potions. We gotta be careful now. Let's go out in the open, maybe. Maybe I can dodge better out here. Like that. I don't think I have any region, do I? Shit. Yo, this boy's got some beef. Did I pop my potion? Probably. I mean, that ability where I turned to frost and I... It's a minute cooldown would maybe be okay for this fight, but there's not very many situations. Jig. I should probably pop Ice Barrier when he pops that ground fire thing. That's the only thing that hits me, so. Because I only have 10 potions left. This way, at least I know I'll win eventually. Like, 
Like right there, if that was, like if I'm about to get hit, just save it. But I need it for DPS too, kind of. Let's pop it till we get low, I guess. Man, this guy's got some health. Oh shit. You can't do that. Am I taking damage? What? Did it go through the barrier? Nine potions. You shadow and pale breath. True, true, true. It looked like it's trying to make me take damage, but then it realizes I'm immune, and then I don't know. Like it looks like I lost five percent health still. What the rats? The squad? Maybe I can get some uh, potions from it. This might be a problem, I don't know. I was kind of comfortable fighting him. They called the homies. Ow. Oh. Let's go back over here. Uh, he's at like 45 something, 46. How? Isn't this make me immune? I remember, maybe I read it wrong. Preventing the next three sources of damage. Is it? Does it? Because I just took damage right there. What the actual hell? Alright, Wilson. <laughs> Eight potions. He's the Hamlet of Spiders? Yeah. That made sense because I was standing in fire because it was ticking, ticking. Damn it. This is a little excessive. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so I'm kind of asked for it. It's like playing Diablo on T6. You just, this is what would it look like, right? Oh shit, boys. No throws, no throws. Six potions. You can't catch that here. It would just be like a lot of HP and we don't have a multiplier to carry us. Five potions. Getting sloppy, man. I have a grenade or some shit? You can't use that. A giant boot to smash this spider? Is there a giant boot in the building? Oh shit. I can't see, I should pop the potion so I don't die. Whoa! That's what I thought. Oh, that one. You can't use that skill. But I gotta focus, I can't lose after this whole ass, long ass time. 
hoe ass, long ass. I don't know if this if this weapon has a bleed on it or not. That would be great if I did. He's like a counter to the ice because he hits so fast, like with the fire. Nice hits, man. The carry. The ice barrier. This looks like a Dell from PoE, a mineshaft. <laughs> This looks like Mickey's steamboat, man. What the hell? Come. <laughs> You're gonna be hearing from my lawyer, Disney. Whoa. This is one tough Rift Guardian. Good thing there's no time limit, dude. Just get good. I still got three potions, man. Can you believe that? Getting cocky. The throw. The throw. Next one. Right, man. You were here? World first, man, can you believe it? Rank one world, dude. New torchlight patch. It's crazy. Good job. New pet. Another llama. Blue. Oh, blue gun? Please, 18.8, nice upgrade. And it has poison. Faster potion cooldown, okay, cool. Shit, I'll take it, man. 31 defense. No fire, though. I literally think I only did that because I had fire defense everywhere. I guess it's only 7.3. Only 7.3 total. I have fire on like four items, four of my five items, I don't know. Here's 69, loot. GG, put that in the title? Yeah. Okay. This would be a good place to stop the let's play. We put three hours in, man. I thought I was just gonna do like a couple hours, but you get into it, you know? Go to Firebelly Village. Yeah, I can grab some shoulders too now. Go to the workshop. Is this it? What is this? Just a portal? Right. Yeah, we'll go to that. Yeah, I can get some shoulders. We should go do that really quick, actually. Buckleberry Fairy. Did you guys like this episode? I was a little quiet, I guess because I'm so focused on trying to like not suck. Should we continue the let's play? If we can reach 1500 likes, I'll continue the let's play. <laughs> oh shit. Can I offer you a drink? Just gonna sell this one. Smash that like button. You always enjoy the streams? Is, is that all? Mm, um, let's do a gamble for the shoulders, yeah. That's a good idea. You have money, I got gear. Nice. Clean, dude. Got like a little full set.
Really? I got you from YouTube? Yeah, this is pretty fun. Our sharpshooter's coming along nicely. We're level 8. Oh, here's our contract. Do we get loot? More spectacles. Did we get the loot? Wasn't it... Mm, not yet? Recipe. Okay. Skills. Oh, we're level 10. Wait, what level are we? We're eight, actually. We can save them. So this is a large bore passive. Cold gets an easier when a gun punches a bigger hole. Basic attacks increase relic energy. So as I'm shooting, I could use my relic abilities faster, but this is a cooldown base build, so I don't know if this would be good. Rifle or pistol must be equipped to get the bonus of this passive. This would be great if I focused on a relic skill. There might be some really good relic skill down the line, like cold front. This uses 200 relic, relic energy. Manipulate the weather itself, creating a localized storm around you. The storm drops razor sharp icicles. So I can see us respecking into something else. The ancient relic. Okay. Increased relic recharge rate. Snowstorm. Summon a snowstorm around you that drains your relic energy. Here's a golem. At level 10, we can get a golem, dude. This frost blast is pretty bad. But when you level it up, it might be better. I don't know. This is um how much relic this is 25 relic energy. It feels pretty bad though. Um This is it might be cooldown based. I don't know. It's hard to read all the new stuff. 200 relic energy. Do these even use anything? I don't even know. Either way, we'll stick with the cold archer thing and I might pick up one of these abilities to try to synergize it together. And try to maybe theory craft a build and I'll let you guys know next time if I come up with anything. That way I can take my time and read everything. I think that's it, we're all caught up.